When you think of one of the early legends here at the Stafford Motor Speedway, you think of Bill Slater, the 1967 sportsman champion, first year on asphalt here at Stafford, also an eight-time winner in a modified on dirt, and so many years later now, in fact, several decades, nearly 50 years later, the name continues in his granddaughter racing here at the Speedway, Amanda Slater. And Amanda, first off, thanks for joining us here as you get set to go karting here tonight, part of Wild Things Karts. You're welcome. Let's talk about your career first off. Uh, what got you into motorsports? Obviously, it's in the family blood. At what point did you decide, hey, I want to drive a race car or in this case, a kart? Um, so when I was like 16 or 17, I used to always come to Stafford by myself, actually, to just watch the races. Um, I would always talk, try to talk my dad into going, but he didn't really like want to go after my grandpa died. He was kind of hesitant about it. And then finally he came with me and I was like, okay, like I really like this and I want to do this. And so we found one of our family friends in a Walmart, actually, and had him kind of give us like the go around on how to start karting because we had never really done that before like he had already gone straight into big cars and so did my grandpa so we didn't really know and he got me a go-kart and I went go-karting and then we ended up getting another one and then my whole family started racing so now they all race at Pomfret and then we were here and Scott and Charlene asked if I wanted to drive the Pro 2 so I said yeah and I've just been doing that ever since. Your grandpa so instrumental in the current management here at Stafford. In fact, it was your grandpa that introduced the Arut family, Jack Arut Sr., to uh, the former management team here at the racetrack. So, unfortunately, he passed away in 2012. What do you remember about him and, and uh, those maybe early memories for you? Because you were, you were fairly young, 10, 10 years ago. Yeah, I know my sister went to a couple of his races and they kind of went to Daytona a lot together. When I was born, he wasn't really racing, so I never really knew him as a racer, but I knew him as like a person. And I'm kind of learning more about him as a racer now rather than before, but it's still cool to like learn about. He was just very like, I don't know, he was like a racer, I guess. <laughs> he was just a really good person. You can learn more about Wild Bill Slater on our 50 greatest modified drivers of all time banner down here on the midway and as you saw at the beginning of the video a grandstand section named after him you mentioned the pro 2 modified that's what you run here on monday nights you're the current championship leader picked up your first win a couple of weeks ago which we'll talk about in a moment but first for those that may not know what's a pro 2 modified so it's basically like a big go-kart i mean it's like i guess it's like i'm the middle between go-karts and modifieds but it's a lot of fun. It go a lot faster than a go-kart, and you kind of have to drive it a little differently, but it's a lot of fun. It's the Monday night version of an SK Modified here at the Stafford Speedway. Always modified uh, all the time here at Stafford, even on Monday nights. Let's talk about that win. Uh, an incredible race. Uh, three wide at the checkered flag. Take us under the helmet. What was going through your mind during those final two laps or so? So, I don't know, I was just trying to get by Scott, and I knew I had to do it then. I wasn't really sure where Ernie was. I knew he was behind us because he had spun out, but I wasn't sure how close he was or when he was coming. Um, so, yeah, that was like, I just kind of looked and everyone was around me, but I didn't really expect that to happen. <laughs> Three wide at the finish. I mean, did you, did you think you had it at the line? Yeah. Let's... Um, Talk about the run for the championship. Uh, I know we talked a couple of weeks ago. You're the championship point leader now. What would it mean to you to win a championship here at Stafford Motor Speedway, with you know, especially with your family history here? It would mean a lot. Um, I think like I really am lucky that Scott and Charlene gave me this opportunity, and I think after like kind of struggling last year. I've like kind of gotten more of the hang of it, and the car is faster, and it's just awesome that I can even stay with Ernie after last year him being like a half a lap ahead of me at all, all times so that's nice and it's just a lot of fun. Well, best of luck to you tonight best of luck to you the rest of the season and congratulations on that amazing finish uh, a couple of weeks ago to get that first win. Thank you. Amanda Slater the family tradition continues here at the Stafford Motor Speedway. It was Bill Slater that found so much success on the big track back in the 50s and the 60s and now 40 years later the granddaughter is taking a checkered flag here on Monday nights.